Looking at the Roland website the other day, I didn't notice that there was a new version of the system software for the MX-1. Um, I have a policy I tend to keep my stuff fairly well up to date with the latest patches etc. So I decided that I was going to put the new version on here. Um, just before I do, a quick overview of what does 1.4 give us on the um, MX-1. Well according to the update notes it gives, it gives us now support for uh, the Juno DS. Well I don't have a Juno DS so it's rather relevant for me. The other interesting thing it gives us in 1.4 is support for the Ableton, an Ableton mode. So it gives you effectively it's extending it as a surface controller and I will once I actually get into that and maybe I'll do some something to camera that says well this is what it does. Um, the most important one on your MX-1 of course is to have um, version 1.3 on um, because version 1.3 um, does things with the digital mode which is good but also it gives you effectively support for all the other keyboards, all the other modern keyboards that Roland has issued so that be the the FA6, the FA8, the Jupiter 50, the Jupiter 80, uh, the JDXA, the JDXI, the Juno G D GI. Um, so if you haven't got those on, if you haven't got 1.3, you can't use the MX1 to actually, uh, in USB mode, to actually control the volume, etc. on any of those. Um, so putting 1.4 on, this is how you do it. So the procedure for updating the MX-1 is very simple. First of all, we have to put the MX-1 into a mode that it can receive the update. To do that, we turn the MX-1 off, obviously count to 10, hold down the tap key, switch the unit back on. Okay, this puts the unit into update mode. You can tell that because in the screen up here it says update, uh, and it looks like that in the value mode. Okay, next thing we need to do is connect the unit to a computer via USB. Here's my USB cable. Pop that in the back there. The unit is now in the right mode to receive the update. So just prior to opening the uh, screen recording, I went to the Roland website. I logged on to the support area. I searched for the MX1 in the supports and downloads. And then I downloaded a file which is mx1 underscore sys underscore vv104, which you can see expanded on the screen. After plugging the USB cable into the mx1, you can now see the mx1 is sitting in the screen uh, as a device that I can connect to on my computer. So in order to perform the update, what we need to do is we need to drag this file into this location. Simple as that. If we now look at that location you can see the MX1 file is there. It's actually really important when you're doing this that you don't actually do a file copy. Um, I'm not 100% sure the reason why that but in all the notes and literature that Roland ever put out about their updates they always say never do a file copy. Um, always do a drag and drop. So that's what you saw me do. Now that I've uh, put the uh, update file into this location, I now need to eject the location. So on the Mac, you just do that. And that is the computer part of the update done. So we've done the computer part. The file is in the right place on the MX1 to perform the update. Next thing we need to do is disconnect the computer from the MX1. So you do that very simply by disconnecting the USB cable. Either end, it's just for the video I do it on the MX-1. The next part of the process is you'll notice that the tap key is flashing. We need to now instigate the update. So we do that by pressing the tap key. What you will notice is that these pads are flashing and as you can see it's running through the sequence. Now what you would have noticed if you were looking at this is the fact that when I started the process pad 1 was flashing, when I loaded the file pad 2 was flashing and now as we're going through the whole process you can see the percentage marker is going up and the pads are slowly running through.
Now you can see all the pads are flashing. That means that the update has successfully been applied to the MX-1. You can also see it's given me a status of finished in the display here. OK, now that it's finished we need to recycle the MX-1. So we do that by switching the MX-1 off. Counting to 10 again. And switching the unit back on. Now, as far as everybody's concerned, you know, there is, uh, you wouldn't have known you'd done an update. So, in order to make sure you have got the update properly loaded, switch the unit off again. Hold down the gain key, which is this key here, and switch the unit on. Now, if it's been successfully applied, what you'll notice is the latest patch value, in this terms we've just done 104, will be now displayed in the value window, which it is. I'm not going to do any more work in this mode, so switch it off, count to 10, switch it back on. And that's the procedure for updating the MX1 to the latest version of the software.